believe I'm about to actually make a hot meal tonight. It is so beautifully warm. Orkney, who would think it? But tonight we're going to just do a real time dinner again. I remember doing it once before with spaghetti, so we're going to do it again tonight. However, this is just what I would kind of call a sort of a Tex-Mex type thing. Uh, it's going to just have the chilies and smoked paprikas and things in it just to z zip up the flavours. So first and foremost, already got the kettle boiled because we're wanting it to come back up as quick as possible. Ring's already on and these are the ways just to cut down in some time because I mean you can just have your kettle boiling just whilst you're doing you know bits and bobs getting your mushrooms or whatever out. So fingers crossed that shouldn't take too long. We will try and keep a, an eye on it tonight because of course the last time we did this it uh, kept bubbling everywhere and making a, a lovely mess of my nice clean cooker. Right, we'll just have about half a teaspoon of salt going in to that and then I'll put this on and bring it up to, to heat and then we'll just get cracking the minute that that starts to, to bubble. And of course Kenny did say to me, was I needling anything? I said no and I did this the last time too. I forgot the spaghetti fork. But that's fine, we'll just use one's hands tonight. Now I'm only making this for two tonight. However, the, in, the quantities and things that I'm going to be putting into this, apart from the chicken, will be the same as for four. Because what I'm going to do is... I'll just add more chicken to it tomorrow night, it's just so warm I don't want to be putting chicken out too quickly. Um, and we'll have this with rice again tomorrow night, or we should do anyway, hopefully. But we'll wait and see. See how it looks, I might just put it all, wrap it all in together tonight. But I mean that, that's the kind of thing, if you wanted to make this a wee bit thicker, it does fine with rice. We'll be making it a wee bit thinner tonight just for the spaghetti. So turn that down and get the timer on. So 14 minutes. It may not take that, but that's what we're giving it. Turn it up there and just take the lid off, so fingers crossed. So straight away we want to get the chicken in to start browning. Now you can use upwards up to 300 grams of chicken for this. We don't have quite as much as that tonight because it is, like I say, just the two of us. So this is just about 150 grams, 200 grams there. So you want that just to start browning. So it's like up to stick too much. And I just use my usual, the usual grapes and go for it. In fact, somebody was asking me yesterday how much it was that was in it. So it was 500 mil. We don't quite often have this on offer for um, 99 pence. That, I'm sure it's only 149 anyway, and I appreciate that that seems quite a lot because you could buy in sunflower oil for just over a pound. But if you use that just for this kind of thing, you're only using two tablespoons at a time, so that will last a long, long time. So sometimes if you can, it's worthwhile just splashing out a little. So you just keep that cooking away, and we'll start getting some veg ready. Now, the secret behind all this is to make everything thin so as it cooks nice and quickly. I'm getting fingers here about this bubbling bit and I hope you won't do any because that's why I've left the lid slightly off but I will just keep my eyes to if you keep articulating from the corner. So anyway, um, now it's put me off. Yeah, keeping everything really thinly sliced. So it picks up really quickly. And if you don't like the idea of making it in 15 minutes, obviously once your sauce is created, you can cook it for 10 minutes or so before you even put your pasta on. Just so it's uh, you get your vegetables the Scottish way, nice and mushy. Without uh, I always find that from when we were young. To call it, we can you eat now? Everything was so like overcooked. Yeah, sorry, Mum. So we're watching this. So we get another house. So stay in with the onions. Like I say, nice and thin. But I'm keeping them long because it is just spaghetti. So everything's got that sort of you know what makes you go on tonight. Then we'll just slice up a little bit of pepper. In fact, we'll do the mushroom cut. So they'll take a little bit longer. And get in. The camera to the side of me today, so I just could be a spoon for the sun. 
Because if you add oil, it can just make things greasy at this stage. Learned that from a tiny, tiny person years and years ago. Because it was when I used to work in Glasgow, and of course at that time it was just new. We we're having like the um, noodle bars and things, and you cooked it just right in front of you. And oh, it was fantastic to watch. And it was over these big gas ring stove things. And I was aware of the fact that he just kept spooning in with the past. I mean, it's really just water. You just never add oil to your cooking. You just always just water. So there you go. I can pass that one on. Can't you see I've missed a few mother on his fucking horse. He's donkey years ago. And it would be donkey years ago. 1988 or something like that. Oh, that's the ancient. 53 and... Oh. It's six weeks or something. Never mind. Now, to this, we want to add some flavours. So we'll just get them in. We'll straight away. Sorry, Kenny, because if you're here, you will actually see it this side. Hi, I've lost it. There we are. Small paprika. Kenny's not quite so keen on it, so it probably will say a teaspoon in the recipe. I'm not going to use a full teaspoon. It's definitely the Kenny. But I've got a big lump here so it'll depend if that all comes out. You just don't look. Look in behind the camera, Kenny, and you'll not see it. But then so about a teaspoon of smoke paprika. Quarter a teaspoon of some chili flakes. These are just optional, this is up to yourself. Because chili, it depends on how hot you like it. I'm only using half a teaspoon tonight. As I said before, this particular one is very warm. Very hot. Mix it in a wee bit. Oh! I went right in the back of my throat, excuse me. Goodness. Right, anyway. Mm. Garlic. I thought it was going to cut. To the chili. Three of garlic tonight because you're needing flavours to go in here. Bring that tractor stop. I think I'm going to have to open the window a bit. I had the window open but it was uh, there was a tractor out the back so it was a wee bit noisy. Oh, oh gosh. They must have a normal television. They must have uh, fans or something on the go. Unless they're just immune to it, is it getting to you as well? Yep. Yep, oh cool, god. <laughs> <coughs> Never mind. We'll get there. Right. A dessert spoon of corn flour. Heat, because you're wanting it reasonably thick. Right, just take a deep breath, dear. No. Nope. Can't be spoiling it from the sidelines. 
I'll just keep going. Keep chatting. A <coughs> teaspoon of <coughs> vegetable stock. And these are just the things that give me the flavours. <coughs> so what I have here, I hope, is round about a pint. It's a quarter of a pint of milk and three quarters of a pint of hot water. So we'll just hopefully get that up to the bubble. And that's the point at which you can judge just how thick it is and whether or not you want some more watering. What watering? Water in it, even. I think the sun's going to my head. Now, you see what I mean about the colour? It is a wee bitty bland looking. So I'm going to just add some parsley to that tonight. It does absolutely depend on the amount of paprika you use, what colour this goes. So just close your eyes, Kenny. I'm not really adding any more. I mean, it is better to add the paprika at the start because then you're, as I've said before, you're allowing the um, powders to sweat a little and release their oils, but not it'll be fine. We'll survive for one night. And I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Well, I've forgot, quite forgotten is cheese, but I won't add it till a wee bit later. Just 100 grams of cheese. Just as you're draining your pasta, you can put the cheese into this. And it just, that just actually sweetens this dish for some reason. But turn it down a little. And like I say, <coughs> if you're able to come forward, Kenny, and you'll see I don't have it thick. And that's because, you know, it is going to be being served with pasta tonight, so you're not wanting it overly thick because the pasta will add some starch and that should thicken it up a wee bit anyway. So if you want this to be being served with rice, make it two um, dessert spoons of corn flour. And we're just needing that to keep going, keep cooking, keep choking Kenny to death over in the corner there. You're doing a grand job, sir. And we'll just start chatting. So I'm trying to think, what I've been up to this week. <laughs> Sunbathing. I'm starting to feel like I, I'm looking like I've never been on my holidays and I've not been but uh, apart from it started to get really brown I cannot believe the weather we've been having. I mean I know it's all over the country but <coughs> all over the country does not necessarily mean that it's going to be fantastic in Orkney but it really has been so just straight after lunchtime today, in fact just about straight after lunchtime every day I've been uh, getting out and getting the rays. So I'm actually starting to feel like I've had the benefit of the sun, you know, I can't help but smile when the sun comes out. And I had some wee, do you know what I mean if I was saying a wee spooky wife? So somebody that can you know, read your palms or, or whatever. Not that I was getting my palm read or anything but she she was intrigued and she actually guessed was my name. I think she said Helene, I think was how she put it. We were abroad. And uh, I said, well, it's Helen. And she said she was able to tell that because apparently it comes from the light. And uh, I was smiling and she said that was because the sun was shining. So there you go. All this nonsense that I, I learned on my travels. Good job I remember it all. And I could chat away to you lot. So what else have we been up to? We've been getting ourselves organised to go down to the Inverness March. It's going to be coming up at the end of this month. Um, Kenny's just taking his holidays actually, so we're, or booked his holidays rather. So we're actually going to be down for the Edinburgh one on the 6th of October. So that's the All Under One Banner marches. So quite excited because for all obviously, um, we've always been involved in this side of things for politics. We've actually never been on a, a march. Uh, we did the Hands Off Our Parliament back in May. Is that May? March? Can't remember now. Whenever it was anyway. Obviously down at Holyrood. We went down to it and it was fantastic. So at that point we thought, right, we're definitely going to do a march or two. Uh, so that's <coughs> what our plans are going to be for later on this summer. So we're quite excited about it. need to get the boat and things booked. But six o'clock in the morning the boat's going to be so I think we should be all right. I don't think well, there'll be too many 
Uh, you're like these boats that take hundreds of people. I don't. I don't think it's going to matter that we leave it till late. What I'm going to do here is just taste that and just see where we're at. That's quite spicy, Kenny. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's why we're coughing. <laughs> Good job we don't mind it like that. The cheese. The cheese will take some of the heat out of it. I did say it was a hot chilli. We got that from the Chinese supermarket when we were down. So I always remember that because I think it might be said it was um, medium, but it's actually very hot. We had to just stop for a split second, but uh, you'll be able to actually judge it because I set that for 15 minutes and we'll be just keeping going here now. It has to just something to stop it and put it back on again. There we go. That's the pasta timer. I'm just going to put the microwave on to heat the plates for a second. Just drain my pasta. Oh, oh, oh that's lovely. Here. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> I'm not going to complain though. Because if you complain and the, the heat will go away. But I mean, that's as a quarter past seven tonight and it is still lovely. Really, really warm. Right. I know I'd said I was going to have this with rice tomorrow night, but I'm actually just going to pop that whole pack. What do you want me to do? Do you want it just over the top of your pasta? How do you fancy it tonight? Just over the top? Yeah, right, okay. I'll just uh, put the cheese in to melt. First, stir through. Doesn't matter if it's not melted. Entirely. And then I'll just spoon some out onto a plate then. So I hope you've all been enjoying. I go, that's all I feel like I can talk about tonight's the weather. Because it's just been so delightful. So I hope you're all managing at least if you're out working and getting home now to the to the sunshine. It makes such a difference to everyone when the sun's shining. And we've actually had some inside knowledge yesterday from somebody that used to work in the Met Office up here. And he was saying that this could uh, be scheduled to go on for two whole weeks. Are you sure you want me to do this? This is going to be... Oh, just go for it. One, two, three. I'll use my fingers. Like I said before, you'll look at uh, Nigella Lawson style here. But it's my fault for actually not having had the forks. Right, I'll pop you back there or I'll not have enough. So yes, it's supposed to be continuing for another two weeks or up to two weeks. So that just sounds fantastic because often in Orkney they end up getting the hard in. But uh, not so far, it's been, it's been pretty good. And even if you get up in the morning and there's some hard in, it's been going away. It's been really, you know, by lunchtime it's... It's all cleared up and it's just delightful. Now I have one very cheeky man on uh, the Orkney News just now that keeps telling us that we're needing to improve on our presentation. However, we're not professionals. We do this to um, have people get an affordable meals. But what we will do again is just a little bit of a sprinkle of parsley just to give it some colour at the top. And there you have it in 15 minutes, what I would call Tex-Mex spaghetti. I do hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine too. Thank you.